In order to access your accreditation events, simply go to the My Lab page and click on Accreditation Events. The first time you access the new system, it will ask you if you would like to view the instructions now, later, or not at all. On the Accreditation Events page, you'll see that all of your accreditation events show up on one screen instead of on multiple screens. You can easily click in and out of any of the accreditation events quickly by clicking on it to open and clicking on it to close. You can also email your quality analyst very simply by clicking right here. Once inside an on-site assessment review file, you can see all of your nonconformities on one page. The interface for submitting corrective actions has changed quite a bit too. If you want to submit a corrective action to any of the findings, click on the pencil and paper icon. Now you'll see a new pop-up. This is one of the best features of the new system. In this window, I can easily add my supporting evidence for any corrective action. All I need to do is open up a window that has my files in it, and I simply drag the files into this box. What you'll see is how it automatically uploads that file. Now, if I made a mistake, I can also back out of it really simply by clicking on this X. But let's say that what I wanted to do is add this corrective action and this image to support my corrective action. All I need to do is upload those files. And since they're together, I'm only going to add one comment in this box below. Now, it's still important that you add a comment here. So what I can say here is something simple like, Please see corrective action and supporting image. Now, if these were two independent issues, I would split it up by clicking on this. And once I click on that, I would enter my different comments here and here. But since I just have one, I'm just going to click on this one. And then all I have to do, well, this is a little off the screen, but there's a save response button <laughs> underneath here. And you just click on that. And that saved my response. You can see the status changed to submitted. If I want to verify that it's in there, all I have to do is open this up. And you can see my comment and my document. Now that I've verified that I uploaded the information correctly, I want to get this out of my site because I don't really like clutter on my desktop. So all I'm going to do is click right here, it'll close it up, and I can move on to the next one. Now, with the way this website works, you can, you can close and open whatever you want. So you can keep it nice and clean, or you can have everything open. It's completely up to you. Uh, but one thing I'll tell you is once you go through this process once, let's say you got all of your corrective actions submitted, uh, the quality analyst then reviews them, accepts some of them, but you are still required to submit additional corrective actions or supporting documentation for other issues, this will then be sorted so that all of the completed items that you've resolved go to the bottom and kind of out of your site, while the ones that are still waiting for you will be at the top. So you always see the items of interest to you first. If I'm done with entering all of my corrective actions, I can close this up. See if there's anything else waiting for me. If not, I can go back to my lab page. I could send an email to my quality analyst uh, directly. This will open up my email. Uh, or I can send a general email through the system. This is not where you would submit your corrective actions. Let me show you that again. I submit my corrective actions on the individual finding by clicking here. If I want to send a general message, I can either send it to the quality analyst directly using my email, or I can click on this envelope, which opens up another window that is for just general comments. The general communication area is also where I would want to submit any corrective actions and supporting documentation to address accreditation issues that are not related to on-site assessments. This is what it would typically look like. I would have a general decision, in which case I could enter my corrective actions and supporting documentation right into this dialog box. Once I'm done, I hit save response, just like I did in the accreditation event related to the on-site assessment, and I'm finished.